How's it going, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Great Ace Attorney Adventures. So, last time, we were investigating the storeroom, and we also crossed our eyes with <laughs> Iris and With Iris Susato. and Susato. It's also the manuscript. Beautiful. We're now going to continue discussing with Gregson and probably wrap up the investigation day. Oh, yeah. It's a pretty long investigation day. Yeah, this has been four parts. Damn. Like, in-game, not even how many episodes. Right. Like four parts in game, which is ridiculous. Okay. So, Inspector, what do you make of the crime scene here? <laughs> Literally I think it's a lot of baloney! Pshaw! You got eyes, <laughs> haven't you? Use them. It is what it looks like. Nothing more, nothing less. Iris, could you lend me a hand? Could you actually beat the shit out of him? Yes. So, Gregsy, what do you make of the crime scene here? Literally, you asking me is talking to change my answer. Well... Actually, oh, <laughs> yes, her lady, sure. Do allow me to humbly explain. Last night, had shortly after the hour of one o'clock in the morning, Scotland Yard police attended the scene. The one and only door to the storeroom was found locked from the inside, and there was a dead person in there. Oh, wow, that's brilliant. So it was locked from the inside. Wow, a locked room mystery. Who would have thought? Wow. The lock appears to be broken Ew. now, though. Though, why did I say it like that? Was that the police officer's doing? Quite right, ma'am. Quite right. What? We took the liberty of smashing the door in <laughs> as humbly as possible. Oh, well, in that case... As you can see, the victim was discovered prostrate on the floor. Huh. Thus wise. And next to the aforementioned body, we discovered the vile gutter child. Little fuckhead. <laughs> hey, what the fuck? Are you talking about Ginny? She's my friend, you know, Inspector. I really don't care. <laughs> I mean, uh... Ask me if I give a fuck, because I don't. <laughs> Miss Lestrade, the hapless girl, was curled up on the floor, dead to the world. I wish she was dead. She's That's still alive, not very you know. nice. Yes, when I saw her, she appeared to be unconscious. And I'm afraid to say, she had the gun that was used in her hand. Don't know why the hell all you people like picking up these guns, <laughs> but whatever. No! Presumably, it's the gun that's still down there on the floor now. Maybe I can just cap the inspector. I know it's just the perspective, but that gun looks so fucking long. <laughs> like, <laughs> it <was> vertically, <laughs> not... <laughs> In her pocket, we found the key to the door as well. What? The key to the storeroom? Oh, uh, yeah? And you say the storeroom had been locked from the inside, Inspector? If you have ears, yes, that's what I said. <laughs> They're covered by my hair. I can't hear anything. Correct. All of which leaves her ladyship's friend. What? What In something of a sticky situation, I'm afraid. <laughs> I can't hear you over These the sound of your chips. chewing! <laughs> They're stale. <laughs> Obviously, my personal opinion is that it's all some sort of misunderstanding. Of course it is, Inspector. Of course it is. Got something to say, Sunshine? <laughs> no. Anyway, is Shelma gonna die? Craigsy, do you know anything about Hurley? Is the operation finished? Has he died? Is Hurley alright? Is he? No. Oh. Uh, well, uh, the thing is, uh, don't mince your words, Inspector. Please. All right, he's going to die in approximately okay, two hours. Okay, well, maybe don't say that either. Y you don't mean to say that Mr. Sholmes is... is... Damn, that is terrible. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> Dang, fat L, no, no, man. No, no. The operation is done and dusted. It's just that, uh, well... Out with it! Jesus, fuck! <laughs> yes, ma'am. They use something called a uh, general <laughs> anesthetic. It's the latest thing. Run his whole body insensitive, and now he's unconscious for the rest of his life. Susato's sa sassy pose. <laughs> <laughs> the whole body. Anesthet- an Anesthetized? What? Is that yeah. even possible? I don't even know how to say the word. That means the operation can be completed while the patient's fast asleep. I can also use my fist. <laughs> oh my god, the best medicine. Goodness, in the Empire of Japan, we can just manage to provide laughing gas for a tooth extraction. Wow. <laughs> Us. <laughs> the trouble is, the latest thing isn't always the greatest thing, if you're following the meaning. They couldn't get the medication to work at first, so it took hours for him to nod off, or so I hear. Who's the beta now? <laughs> and now that the op's finished, they uh, can't get him to wake up, apparently. So he's in a coma. <laughs> oh my! No one knows if it's the anesthetic still in a system, or if the bloke's just plain exhausted or just fucking stupid. <laughs> but anyway, all they can do is stand back and watch until he comes around again. He's clinically stupid. Hurley. The moment he opens his eyes, I'll up. I swear I shall get word to you. Hopefully he doesn't. Oh my God. <laughs> what a surprise. You know matters of life and death. Mr. Shows us to things, do things his way. Chot, yeah. <laughs> I do. If I die, I'm going out in style. Alright. 
Look at this. Um, <laughs> Inspector, what do you make of this? Looks bad. All right, what over here then? A redemption ticket for an article deposited here, is it? Looks like someone ran out of the office stationery and wrote some ticket on whatever fucking paper was to hand. Yes, this is the ticket for McGilded's overcoat. The one that little diver turned up with yesterday. Would you call me? Uh, actually, no, it's not. Did you just contradict me? <laughs> really? Think you know better than me, do you? Yeah. No, I, I didn't mean to. Actually, no, yeah, I could fucking read. <laughs> Bruno's right, Gregsy. It isn't the same ticket, and you can't read. <laughs> I took offense to that. Of course it isn't, of course it isn't. I never doubted you, your ladyship. I just doubted him. So what's this all about then, if you might be so bold as to ask? This is a second ticket. Wow. Stupid. A second one? Yes. Yeah, that comes after first. It seems like Mr. McGilden, in fact, had another article in storage here at Windbanks. I ought to put your body in storage. <laughs> is that right? I think we need to discuss this further with the inspector, Mr. Nutter. You have some nerve taking up the whole screen. <laughs> oh, good. It's my ever show so easy now. To talk to. The Susato show. Aren't you supposed to be leaving in a few hours? What are we talking about? <laughs> this ticket was in one of the pockets of Mr. McGilda's overcoat. Ah, oh, you, you mean to tell me? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there was more than just the music box disc, it seems. Oh my god. Huh. I should have assisted on the lads taking it back to the yard and examining it properly. But I fucked up. Well, according to the details on this ticket, Mr. McGill did deposited another article here with Mr. Windebank. Yes, I can see a ring Shut here. Shut the fuck up. A small <laughs> box, was it? I'm gonna put you in a box and throw you down the oh river, God. Grandma. <laughs> Do you have any idea where Greg... Bleh, where it is, Gregsy? Any idea at all? No. Oh. Uh, it's another article belonging to Mr. McGill did. It could be an important clue. Well, uh, yes, uh, uh, I suppose it could be... In my ass? What? Please, stop looking at me with those big turquoise <laughs> eyes and full hope and expectation. Why would you fucking say that to me? It's too much pressure. I'll lose your marbles, I will. I'll go barking. What? Barking? <laughs> I'll go barking, bro. This is no time for dog impressions, Inspector. Bark. <laughs> That's enough sauce from you, sunshine. Bark. Put the sauce away. There is one thing that springs to mind. According to this ticket, the redemption deadline's already passed, hasn't it? So some fuckhead already took it. It was me. Oh. Ah, yes, of course. Articles are only held for two months. <laughs> like old D's nuts for two weeks. Oh, God. <laughs> so the smell box will no longer be here then. Yeah. That's right. It's been forfeited. Which means it could, on uh, it could be on the shelves in front of the shop where the forfeited items are offered for sale. Yes, the shelves in the front. You must search them at once. You're wasting your time. You should search for your brain first. Oh! There are dozens of little boxes out there. Hundreds, even. I can't possibly know which one might have been the McGilded's freaking box, you know? The information's not written in the ledger. Ugh. We're screwed. Well, I think you should at least have a look, just in case. Why don't you shut your mouth? Um, it's already shut. Uh, of course, your letter shut, of course. Very sensible of you, I'm sure. This is getting old. Put your hat back on. Um, I'm sorry. Are you being age-phobic? You Your forehead is fucking huge. It's blinding me. Do you have anything against old people? Yes. All right, I think we examine everything there is in here. Death to old people. <laughs> All right, I'm leaving. Uh, I think the only place we have not gone to is the prison. Oh, I love going to prison. Hello. Whew. Hello. 16th April. Local prison cell 13. <laughs> Gina doesn't appear to be here. What the hell? I believe she must be in questioning at the moment. Well, tell her to get out here. Oh, but wait a minute. What is it, Iris? Well, if you examine the scene here carefully, carefully, <laughs> there's another possibility, isn't there? No. Gun! <laughs> Jinny could have slipped the key from the jailer when he wasn't looking and escaped. That just fucks up everything if that happened. Oh my! Why Why would you do something like that? It would only make a situation worse. I thought it would be a funny joke. Calm down, Bruno. I was only joking, of course. Haha, <laughs> funny joke, huh? <laughs> meme. Oh. <sighs> you had me worried there. I thought it was a great deduction. More like a mid-deduction. <laughs> Yes, it must be your way with words, Iris. You're so wonderfully persuasive. Perhaps you don't fully understand the weight of your words. 
carrying them, you know. I think you should shut the fuck up. Oh dear, I'm sorry. I suppose a lighthearted great detective is a contradiction in terms. Well, in the same situation, I'm sure Mr. Sholmes would have just thrown his head back and guffawed. Probably would have said something completely out of pocket <laughs> and then been like, isn't that funny? I'm not entirely sure that's helpful, Mr. Naroto. Well, anyway, it looks like we won't be able to talk to Gina for a while, which means we missed something. Damn it. We should try to make progress with our investigation in the meantime. Yes. Come along then, Runa. Come along, Susie. Suzzy. Suzzy? Come on, Susie. Alright, so did I miss something in the back? Uh, maybe? He's like, oh, you're fucking oh. back! Why are you back here? Can a man eat his fish and chips in peace? Uh, nothing. Is there anything I need to present to you? Eh. Inspector Gregson. No. <laughs> no, I can't. We don't need to share anything with you. <laughs> Damn, I just pulled this tea out of my ass. <laughs> Pretty fire. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Hound of the Baskervilles, sure. The Hound of the Baskervilles? Wow. Shit name, zero out of ten. How did Susato san know the exact title of this unpublished story? I hate it here. I suppose you just have to wait till she's ready to explain it to me. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you should be. You shall. Yes, this is where all the items have been oh wait, that have been forfeited <laughs> by their original owners are offered for sale. Yeah. That's right. They've all got a little price They've all got little price labels on them, but there are so many of them. What the fuck is going on at that point? I wonder if the small box was this this ticket was for is still on the shelf somewhere. Box and McGill had deposited here just over two months ago. Even if it were, finding it promises to be very troublesome indeed. There are so many boxes, it could be any of them. Mr. Sholmes said that a pawnbroker's was the safest place to store anything, more secure than a bank's vault. So perhaps this small box of Mr. McGilded's contained something of very great value. We should steal it. <laughs> well, if that's the case, he'd probably have kept it locked. So then, we need to find every box with a lock and break them all open. So true. What the fuck? I didn't even move. You breathed. That sort of misconduct would get you arrested. I won't let that happen. Okay, well, you're going to be leaving in a day, so... <laughs> uh, this takes me back. It's been some time since Susato last threw me to my death. Okay. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Oh. This is that strange contraption that lets you see pictures of things as if they're right in front of you. Eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it makes you think. Mr. Sholmes gleefully showed us to showed it to us yesterday. We were blissfully unaware that any of this was about to happen. Uh, is, that, is that what I think it is? Your ladyship's latest. Oh my god. Yes, my latest story. It's called The Hand of the Baskervilles. Uh, almost fascinating t title, your ladyship. Fascinating. And, uh, I don't suppose. Won't there be any mention of my humble self in the tale this time? <laughs> no! Why would I do that? Hmm, good question. I can't really remember. Oh my god. I see, I see. Well, why would you, your ladyship? I'll just await a publication with eager anticipation. <laughs> you needn't worry, Inspector. I'm sure if you do appear, you won't be doing anything particularly remarkable. Damn! Fuck you. <laughs> You're looking to be arrested, sunshine? <laughs> I didn't mean it like that, and even if I did, you wouldn't have bitten her ladyship's head off, would you? Anything new? No. Okay, so I am clearly missing something. Maybe I forgot something with Iris. Alrighty, Iris. What the fuck am I missing? Maybe manuscript? What is this? Oh, my manuscript. Yeah. Mr. Sholmes said he deposited it at Windebanks, and he had. But it's so strange. What is it about this particular story? I worked so hard on it. Why would Hurley say I can't publish it? I'm afraid I have no idea. 
All you can do is wait until he's ready to tell you. I suppose, if he ever wakes up. <laughs> oh, maybe. It's because Herbie isn't in it enough. Maybe I didn't give him enough good lines. Yes, maybe. <laughs> I wish I could say that definitely isn't the reason, but I can't. I can't. Here, look at this. Ew! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how about you? Want to look at some blood? The way you can identify differences in people's blood like this is amazing. You drink it. You really are a genius, Iris. Give it a little taste. I know I am. If Hurley and I put our minds to it, we could really shake up Britain's chemists and alchemists. What the fuck does that mean? And you could shake up Japan's lawyers and judges, couldn't you, Mr. Naruto? Oh, for sure. Even if I didn't intend to. <laughs> it's all accidental. Okay, am I supposed to... Did I really not examine this last time? Uh, I guess not. Mr. Naruto, I don't know if you noticed, but... There's something rather troubling here. It's uh, blood. Yeah, is it the giant frickin' stain? What? I have noticed. The red smear, you mean? No, the writing. <laughs> yes, it looks like blood, it doesn't it? I wonder if Sasato-san had picked up on that. You'd have to be blind. <laughs> well, in that case... Yes, we need Iris. We should show this to her before we forget. I'm an idiot. <laughs> wow, okay. I thought we did that already, but yeah, whatever. Yeah, so I. Oh, that looks like blood! Wow. Let's taste it and find out. I would say it's from a gloved finger. Almost certainly a glove made of leather. I just know. Well, don't worry, Bruno. You can leave the rest to me. Blood. You ruined the paper. Nice. <laughs> and we can't read anything. Look at that. Yes, that's a color we haven't seen before, isn't it? We simply must add it to the portfolio of blood samples. It could be an important clue. Although, it would be nice to find out whose blood these different colors correspond to at some point. It's... Herlock's. <laughs> well, this particular stain of blood... Oh! You've had an idea, haven't you? Not yet. Okay. Do you know whose blood this is? <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> no idea! Yes, I have an idea whose blood this is. Not from the color return, but with a little deduction. That's right. I think it's clear. No, it's not. It's okay, actually fuck you. Iris, you know as well. <laughs> you first, Runo. Who do you think it belongs to? Me. All right. I believe that this is the blood of Gina Lestrade. Thrice fired Mason. <laughs> Actually, remember he was holding this in his coat pocket. Oh shit. So this ties back to the third case. Wow. Thrice fired Mason. I said that as a joke, so that's interesting. You don't sound very sure of yourself the way you've trailed off there. Well, it was two months ago now, that case. And of course, I never met the victim, so I'm struggling to remember his name. He was definitely thrice fired, though. Like, he was fired three times. <laughs> <laughs> the victim of the omnibus case? No, the one on the frickin' boat. Oh. <laughs> Miles Atworth? Yes, his name was indeed Mr. Thrice Fired Mason. But that would mean that this bloodstain was left on the ticket two months ago. Yes, I think it was. Gina brought this ticket here to Windabanks yesterday. I'm suggesting that the bloodstain was already on it at that time. So, it's a smear of blood from the time that Mr. Mason was killed two months ago. Yeah. Something else is coming back to me now. Mr. McGilded was also wearing leather gloves that night. What? Look at me, I'm McGilded wearing leather gloves on my hands. <laughs> now I ask you, what god is so one rushed out fella bleeding from his asshole? <laughs> I was about to start worrying about my gloves now, was I? I already started to give the man a hand. A handy. But instead wipe your ass because you're bleeding out of your ass? <laughs> Does that how the logic works? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> it certainly does look like a leather gloved thumbprint, this mark. McGilda was a fucking weirdo. <laughs> but we know that Mr. McGilda had no injuries at the time anywhere on his body. From which we can conclude that any blood on the glove belonged to the victim, <laughs> Mr. Mason. So true, bestie. <laughs> Mr. Naroto, you sound like Mr. Sholmes. I actually sounded like a really dumb version of him. That's the same the, thing. <laughs> mine's the quirky slip-ups, I suppose. Teehee. <laughs> yes, I think you're right, Bruno. And I think you're wrong. <laughs> Very well, let's make note of this. Finally, progress. <laughs> Some sweet progress. Finally. The blood analysis. <laughs> <laughs> now we can go see Gina. 
Gina. Oh. Dong. Dong. Oh my god, I'm about to give back none. Oh no, I'm giving back none. Ah! I nearly jumped out of my skin there. How could Mr. Windebank set such, such a their fucking trap? <laughs> I'll kill uh, him. I doubt he set that out to scare anyone. What a whore. <laughs> Is that really the time? I think perhaps we should pay Gina another visit soon. No, we should let her rot. <laughs> oh? Oh, I heard that. Her trial is tomorrow. We must establish whether or not you will be defending her. Yeah, and I'll be freaking alone this time. I think we should ask her one more time. She may have changed her mind. Yeah, <sighs> probably not, though. <laughs> Don't you remember, Bruno? You told her she could rip up the representation papers if she didn't want you to be her lawyer. Well, she's a dumbass if she does. Really? Did I say that? <laughs> yes. You did. <laughs> you did. The deadline for submitting the paperwork is fast approaching. Balls. In that case, we had better hurry back to the prison and talk to Gina again. Or we could just take her time. And make it there not in time. This is true, we could. Oh <laughs> shit. Can you go out? <laughs> Can you leave? It's embarrassing to have you here. Alright, so I don't- it's been a while since I've done this case, so I can't remember if Iris is gonna be our legal assistant, or if it fits Susato. Oh, that'd be cool. But she's supposed to leave for Japan, April. so... 5.41 p.m. Local prison cell 13. Welcome back. Oh, hey. Ah, Gina. Good. You're back. Uh. I don't want to talk to you. Huh. <laughs> Feelings mutual. The police must have finished questioning her then. They should have taken longer. Huh? Oh, how was it, Ginny? Was it awful? Imagine if the police just held her longer for no reason just so she wouldn't be able to submit the paperwork. I could see them doing that. <laughs> oh, it didn't bother me. Thank you for the papers you signed before. It meant we were able to investigate at Windowbanks. Oh, right. Left. Die. <laughs> Don't you want to know how we got on? We've been ever so busy. Got on what? The boss? The boss. What's the point in asking? Why not change what everyone's saying? Here we go. <laughs> well, I did. It... <laughs> <laughs> well, by that attitude, yeah. <laughs> That's not... Gina, you are a fucking moron. All right. <laughs> we came to Whoa. ask you for your final decision. You can say no. In fact, I suggest no. you do. But no, you don't have to. The, what decision? Oh my god! About tomorrow's trial. Will you let me defend you? I guess or not. Um, no. That's not an answer. I must submit the paperwork now. If you'd like, Mister Narahodo, to re re represent you. So you better make up your fucking mind. Right. I see. She's really lost her fight all of a sudden. It's better that way. But I know what it feels like. The worry is just so hard to bear. And then again, she could just go and not have a freaking lawyer and then screw herself. That's true. Alright, so here's what we uncovered. Basically, you committed the crime and there's no other suspect. You're going to jail. No, oh, wait, you're already here. <laughs> oh, alright then. Blimey, give it a rest with them eyes, Iris. <laughs> no, Iris. So come on then, fill us in. Who done it? Uh, unfortunately, we don't know that yet. You don't say. I'm just gonna say, uh, Mr. Windebank shot himself. That's so true. We don't know yet, Gina. But Mr. Naruhodo and I, and all of us, why did I say that? Know that you are innocent of this crime. Do we? <laughs> okay, that's funny. And while we haven't yet managed to work out who the real culprit is, there are a number of interesting facts that we have managed to establish in this case. <laughs> Oh yeah? Like what? Well, for example, the reason for you being there in the first place. I think I know now why you broke into Windowbanks that night. Yeah, it's because I wanted to be there, idiot. Looks like I'm gonna have to taste some evidence that clearly reveals the reason. I'm thrust it in Gina's face. Or I can present it to her calmly, I suppose. Or just sock <laughs> her through the window. Listen, girl, I'm gonna pull you through this hole. Alright, dumbass. We already have the representation papers and other documents we need. All we have to do is hand them to the court clerk. That is, if you'll allow me to represent you in court tomorrow. Just say yes so we can progress the damn story. <laughs> or else. Nah, don't bother. Okay, we're wrapping this up. <laughs> Jimmy. Rip him up and chuck him, would ya? Then representation papers or whatever they're called. So what are you gonna do, then? I'm gonna eat them. This cell ain't fancy enough to have a bin. So what will you do in court tomorrow? <laughs> Fucking die, I guess. I'll be fine on my own. That's not how that works. <laughs> this is my game now. <laughs> I don't think you will be. You can't just go in and defend yourself. 
Watch me. I mean, I've done it before, but... <laughs> Look, it don't matter. What's gonna happen is gonna happen. This is one stubborn pickpocket and one stubborn prick. <laughs> yeah, turn your nose up at me. Sneak back here. Schmoopty uh, I don't even know what I'm presenting to you. Hey, uh, look at this. Ew. No. What? Okay. No I was just saying you could have it. Oh, weren't you? No. Well, when someone says I can't have stuff, it makes me want it, see? So you better hand it over now. Alright, I'll give you these representation papers, then you can give it to the freaking clerk. Wait. No, I'm not giving it to you. <laughs> Dumbass. This is dumb. We found this in Mr. Windbag's storeroom. The pink papers. The manuscript of Iris' latest story. <laughs> it's going on Wattpad. Oh, right. Well, that's good then. Curiously, the storeroom at Windbanks show no sign of being ransacked for items of value or the like. With one exception. The box file that housed this manuscript. It was you, wasn't it, Gina? Who broke open the box containing this manuscript last night? <laughs> you were determined to find out whether or not the Hound of the Baskervilles was really there. That's the real reason you broke into the storeroom last night, isn't it? <laughs> Why don't you tell us what happened, please? <laughs> right now, please. Could you turn your nose up at me one more fucking time? <laughs> All right, yeah. This Baskerville story, it's the latest Sholmes adventure, right? But it ain't been printed yet. So I figured it's gotta be worth a few pieces of silver, right? Oh yes, at least 5,000 pounds. Bro, you were gonna sell it? Damn. <laughs> That's messed what? up. What? So you intended to sell Iris' manuscript, did you? You're an ass. <laughs> Damn, what the fuck? No, Ginny, how could you? I literally don't give a fuck about you. <laughs> what? Wait, no, hang on. Of course I'm not going to sell it. All I wanted to do was find out if the mantle script, or whatever you call it, really was there or not. That's the only reason why I was in the place. For Iris' sake. Isn't that right? Uh, totally. <laughs> super. We knew why you'd done it from the start, Gina. Of course we did. Iris, don't nod your head like you knew. <laughs> I've been you. <laughs> but... I knew you wouldn't do anything like that. Fuck. Mean like that, Ginny. I just knew it. I would have capped you if you did. <laughs> well, um, uh... When I saw the manuscript in the storeroom, it reminded me of what you said the night before. Grown-ups do a lot worse than that, believe me. Barefaced lie is the lot of them. You just ain't realized it yet. Sure. Damn, what the fuck? I'm telling you, that mantle script ain't a Willie Banks. You'd see soon enough if you had a look. But you were wrong. But you were wrong. If I'm honest, I have wondered if Hurley's telling me the truth sometimes. I mean, that sometimes I wonder what that I sometimes wonder if he might have hidden my manuscript somewhere, someone I don't know. Even though it's wrong of me to doubt him. Chop yeah, it is wrong with you. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm sleeping. <laughs> I'm sleeping. <laughs> Hi, oh, Ginny, that was so sweet of you. Wait, why'd you say, oh, Ginny? <laughs> why'd you read that in Gina's voice? Wait. <laughs> oh, Ginny, oh, Ginny, that's so sweet of you. <laughs> Who that was, was Iris. Oh, whoops. <laughs> all right, all right. Are you I'm okay? Wrong. <laughs> I'm going insane. It's my joke arc. I'll tell you why I did it. Just stop looking at me like that, Iris. Stop staring. With those big old eyes. It weren't because of Iris. That's not why I did it. I just wanted to know the truth, that's all. Did you? Yeah. You wanted to know if Mr. Shums was being honest? If he'd really been depositing the manuscript at Windybanks? <sighs> Good save. <laughs> I tried. It's like I told you the night before. Gina, er, Gina. Sato looks like she's about a slammer. I know. She, looks so mad. she could take her. I kind of out of father. Fatherless behavior, you could say. <laughs> but Iris is a lot like... What? Iris's law ain't like mine. She got a dad, but she can only fucking she can't see him because he actually, doesn't give a fuck. Actually, her daddy is dead. Oh no. Anyway, I reckon that's got to be harder. Oh, what the fuck? That's why she writes a st What the fuck? <laughs> that's why she writes the stories. They're about a dad, really. That's what it sounded like to me anyway. Last night when she was listening to what you were saying. Stories about daddy. Oh wait, motherfucker! This stories. is so hard. I keep stories. Stories about daddy. 
<laughs> Why am I saying the lines? I'm going insane. I'm voicing three <laughs> like, yeah. characters at I the know, same time. I know. <laughs> you mean they're not the adventures of a great detective? So much the adventures of a great fuck and his trusty partner. More like his crusty partner. Well, that's how I see it, yeah. You're so thoughtful and so kind, Ginny. Kind? I'm literally neither of those, but okay, thanks. <laughs> yes, and we never thought any differently, did we? I mean, I thought differently. That's a lie. <laughs> Look, give it a rest, will ya? I hate all this chummy nonsense, do you hear? I hate it. You better back up off those bars, first of all. I don't trust no one, right? That's how I work. Because if you don't trust no one, no one can let you down. So leave me alone. Go on, sc Scarper. <laughs> Probably like, get out of, probably like get out of here. <laughs> Bitch. I hadn't noticed until now, but it's unmistakable. Right there on both sleeves of that overcoat. She's Jenny's bleeding. The blood. Are some very suspicious red stains. Whoa, why are you looking at me like that? I don't know. I think it might be worth presenting some of our other findings in that area to Gina now. Have you ever seen blood before? Gina, I'm taking your wrists. <laughs> I'm stealing your hand. Wait, that's not what I wanted to do. No, that's the wrong fucking thing. <laughs> what the hell is this? Hey, thank you for signing these. Yeah, I'm gonna rip this up. If you wanna thank me, you can do it once you've gotten me off the hook. Alright then, I'll be sure to fail. Wait, what? <laughs> Shouldn't you be thanking me then? Bye. You know what, Mr. Naro Odo? <laughs> it ain't good manners to accept thanks if you do someone a favor. I know that, and I'm doing you a favor. <laughs> She's as so tricky with words as she is with her fingers. Yeah, her words are definitely tricky. I keep dying on them. No stains on the sleeves of your new coat, Gina. They're blood, aren't they? Not that I know who's blood yet. What? B blood, Mr. Naro? Do you have eyes? You don't appear to have any obvious wounds yourself, though. So could it be blood that spattered from Mr. Windebank when he was shot last night? Let's not beat around the bush here. I'm going to shoot you. <laughs> this trusty friend of mine will get the results must much faster than anything else. Why did she just pulled out a real gun? Oh my god. It's like, wait. <laughs> Let me handle this the old-fashioned way. The, to take it easy, Iris. Don't act like you don't have a bigger gun than her. Put your hands up. Don't move, Ginny. I'm going to shoot. <laughs> the guard walks up. Oh, man, this is great. <laughs> I can help. Jesus oh, shit. Christ. Dong and Rampa blood? Oh, my God. No, Dong and Rampa. Oh. Oh, my. What the fuck? <laughs> A scribe juice. Forget the sleeves. Also, I like how she kind of posed for it. I know, right? But, oh. The whole coat is covered in blood. Of course. The black color of the fabric was masking the stains. That's why we haven't seen them until now. Do you know what the hell? And the blood has reacted with the chemical to turn to purple color. Which matches the one of the samples we've already collected perfectly. What the freak? What the freak? Yes, now let's see. Who had the purple blood? I don't know. Aha! Uh -huh, yes, it was the brickmaker, Mr. Mason, the victim of the murder case two months ago. I see. I knew it. What, what are you on about? The victim? What do you mean? Let me educate you. It's a rather uncomfortable situation, isn't it, Mr. Naro? <laughs> I tried to save it because I didn't say A and it didn't work. But I think this makes things quite clear. I don't know why Iris looks so funny whenever she's trying to be serious. She looks so much older. It means the omnibus case is finally solved. The truth about who really murdered the brickmaker, Mr. Mason, is revealed. Wow, so I, I've defended a criminal. Great. Oi, would someone explain what's going on? Stop telling half a story. Shut the fuck up and I will. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, sure. Why am I talking nice. to you now? Okay, I guess I'm talking to you. Hey, want me to... Look at my armband. What the fuck is this? It means a great deal to me, you know. That you cherish oh, wait, I think his this armband. Is the same. I wish you would stop showing it to me. Yeah, okay, this is something. Kazuma is dead. Okay, Susato. Susato. You can see now that the victim's blood is all over McGilded's overcoat. But in the rit the ritual. <laughs> but in the trial two months ago, the defendant said this in his testimony. You know, it always astounds me. I can just turn to the exact page that you need this information for. I'm really good at booking. Yeah. Ew. 
Now I ask yourself, how can Hodge's soul in a rush to help a fellow bleeding from his asshole? Also, my hat wants a hat. My hat, my hat wants a hat. <laughs> One about to start wearing my gloves now, was I? I reached out and shoved my hand up his ass. And it worked. And it got all over my fucking coat. But if you look at this overcoat now, it's clear. I'm gonna keep zooming in. <laughs> <laughs> These stains couldn't have arisen from McGilda trying to pull the victim to his feet. Stop looking at me. <laughs> No, if that was what had really happened, the blood wouldn't have spl or wouldn't have splashed all over the front of the coat. It's like a thing. Not how those eyes are just slowly like <laughs> bulging. Like he's going insane. The only explanation for this pattern of blood. I can't pull my eyes back. Whoa! Is that a spatter all over McGilda's coat when he stabbed the victim in the stomach? Damn. I can't put my eyes away. Hold on. I've tried to run from the truth for long enough, but there's no escaping it now. True culprit in that case, Mr. Mason's killer, was Magnus McGilden. Who would have fucking thought? It was obvious from the start. No, OMG, it's not like he was shady <laughs> the whole entire fucking time. Wow. Mr. Naroto. I'm a piece of shit. We know. That horrible case is solved at last, and now I want to die. <laughs> and I, I helped the man walk free from that trial. I mean, he still died. Give me your armband. I used all that twisted testimony and all that sham evidence to prove his innocence. Actually, at the end, we called out that the blood was forged. We did. How could I have let that mad. happen? And then he threatened my life. Damn. Rina, did you believe him, though? <laughs> no. Did you believe Mr. McGilded was innocent? No. I believed. I believed. Or rather, I think I was trying to believe. I wanted to. Because believing in those you represent in court... Is a defense lawyer's greatest weapon. A weapon? Yeah, like the gun you always carry. Oh. oh I guess I'm still talking to you. <laughs> Before we came to Great Britain, a great friend of mine taught me a valuable lesson. His name was Kazuma, in case you didn't know him. Oh, wow, I've never heard that name before. You mean Kazuma-sama? Yeah. Hey. Damn, I, mi I miss <laughs> you, King. Listen, Athenosuke. We lawyers are only human. We can't know for sure what is the truth and what the hell is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why we must resort to what our the primary fuck is weapon. A lie? My freaking sword. An unwavering belief in our clients. That's all we really have. Unwavering belief? Only when we truly believe what our clients tell us can we fight with everything we have for their cause. In any battle, there can be no victory without faith. And I have zero faith in you because you let me die. <laughs> so I believe you. Unwaveringly. Thank you so much. And then we kiss. I got work out for you. <laughs> What's funny, bit, uh, Gina? <laughs> cool. Sounds like this empire of Japan you come from. Everyone must be so soft. They all must be snowflakes. <laughs> <gasps> How dare you use that word? Well, come on. Look at the mess it's gotten you into. Believing in the br whoa, that bog trotter. Yeah, that 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 dick bag. Yeah, I cheese. inadvertently helped a murderer walk free. I need to die for it. Susato was pissed. Well, at least you've learnt your lesson now, eh? Don't trust anyone. Believing in people is never worth it. Someone always stabs you in the back in the end. Yeah, like Susato was breaking my neck 50 times in case two. That's out of love. As <laughs> soon as you let your guard down, you've had it. Take a leaf out of my book. Believe no one, get hurt by no one. Gina, may I ask you something? No, you may not. <laughs> what? I'd just like to make absolutely sure. What would you like us to do with these representation papers for tomorrow's trial? Rip them up. I don't know, fucking eat them? I don't I care. Mean, I presented them to her like a minute ago and she seemed fine with them. How many times do I have to say it? Rip them up and check them away. That is not what you told me a minute ago. I was lying to you. Are you really sure that's what you want? You fool. <laughs> you foolish fool. I bet that's what he wants. So what? What's an <laughs> oh now, Mr. I'm a believer lawyer over here? I'm a believer. Yeah. Don't forget it was me in that trial two months ago. I led everyone up the garden path, didn't I? Yeah, you deserve to die. Um, well, I don't know about that. <laughs> and you're telling me you can believe in me after all that? Not likely. Well, you're a main character, so yeah, I kind of can. Well, Mr. Nadahara. A lawyer's primary weapon 
is an unwavering belief in his clients. Ultimately, it comes down to whether or not I feel I can trust Gina after everything that's happened. I can't trust her. End the that's game. That's why I'm going to save. Wait, there are two different routes? No, I don't think so. Ah. It's just extra dialogue. So you know what, Gina? Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, Gina. But what choice do I really have here? I have to believe in her. Oh. Okay, so I don't have a choice. Oh, okay. <laughs> Although I can hardly believe myself that I'm making this choice in spite of everything. Let's just put it down to one of life's little curiosities. Gina? Let me say it again. I know you tried to click the other option. I did. Please allow me to represent you in tomorrow's trial, because if I don't, the gamers will hate me. <laughs> oh, you have faked! No, I'm well done. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> not at all. You were not once admitted to committing the crime, have you? And if you did, you're a, you're a fucking moron. Hee hee hee. What's more, I believe that you're telling me the... The, the opposite. opposite of a lie. Yeah, that. Seriously, um, Mr. Narrow Odo. You call me Mr. Narrow Odo again, <laughs> I will kill you. Didn't you hear what was said before? Nope. I'm a born liar. Fips just tripped me on t what the f trip <laughs> off me tongue, and I'm a diver, so don't fucking forget it, or I'll kill you. I pulled the wool over your eyes two months ago and got you into all sorts of trouble. You did. Why would you ever trust me now? I just don't get it. <laughs> fucking hate me. Uh, I don't know. Gina. Who? <laughs> I do understand why you chose not to put trust in others, but I assure you. There is more to this life than you just fucking realize. What do you mean? Honestly, I don't even know. The world we live in... Sucks. ...is terrible. It's full of people who would do... You would do very well to trust. People who don't ever let you down. Ever heard of friends? <laughs> what? It's true that I'm just a student of law. And a brainlet. And I'm certainly <laughs> lacking courage. I'm just experience. a brainlet. But I can promise you this. Whatever happens... And until my very last breath, Novel House will be on your side. Oh my god. I am completely against you. <laughs> on your side. Nationwide is Why on your you side. That? What's a nationwide? What what do you expect me to say to that? <laughs> Disgusting. And it's decided. I will take these papers now and carry out the necessary preparations for tomorrow's trial. It would be a great shame to throw them out away now, after... Actually, we're throwing them away. It's been penned with your name so beautifully. Do what you like. You Eastern lot are... Uh, oh, I don't know what you are. I don't get ya. People. People. <laughs> yeah, I'm not smiling. Gina's taking herself off the back of herself. She'd never admit it, but I hope she's feeling relieved. That turned out alright in the end, I think. Until it didn't. And then she... she fucking died! died. Oh. Whoever's what? hiding in there, show yourself at once. Eavesdropping is the height of cowardice. Who? Mr. Santa, what the hell are you... I'm a trained assassin. Somebody is there in the shadows. I can sense it. Somebody who wasn't there before. What? Eggert Benedict? Is it Sholmes? Or Sholmes or Gregson? Hmm? Let me your job, eh? Oh. oh. <laughs> well, I suppose you were using one of those mystic Japanese arts, like the art of stealth I've heard so much about. If anyone was being stealthy, it was you, Inspector. No, it wasn't. Gregsy! Ah, uh, oh dear me, I'm most terribly sorry, your ladyship. I didn't mean to startle you. <laughs> How long has he- Fuck. <laughs> I was looking at Peter. How long have you been listening in on our conversation? Uh, approximately two hours. Good grief, uh, listening in. No, 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 no. I just got word that there were some visitors who were refusing to leave, even though it was after hours. I assure you, ladyship, I only just arrived. At this very minute, not a moment earlier. That's all it is. Nothing untoward, nothing at all. After hours? Is it that late already? Yeah. So then I'll humbly excuse myself. Now, now you're a ladyship. Bye. Ta ta. Toodaloo. Cheerio. <laughs> All the best. Bye and bye bye. That's a lot of farewells, and not one of them appropriate for her ladyship. Oh, but I wanted to have a chat. I'm terribly sorry, but time is pressing at the minute. Oh, I see. That's a shame. 
Now, if I don't get this emergency at the Supreme Court, though, but it's sharpish. Lord Strongheart will, uh, unfold my asshole. Emergency? Lord Strongheart? Nothing. We're gonna send anything. Anyway, uh, I'm off. All right, Gregsy, if you have to. But let's chat soon. Sure. Delighted. Charmed. Can't wait. If you please, my pleasure. I don't know where I pulled the tea from. <laughs> There's a lot of pleasantries, and not one of them sounded sincere. And it's a fucking weirdo, am I right? Craigsy's so funny, he says such silly things. It's certainly entertaining to see an inspector of the police fawning to a ten-year-old girl. Anyway, I wonder what this emergency is at the Supreme Court. I must attend the court oh my fucking the court clerk's office now before it closes. Yes, of course. Thank you, Mr. Sato. Tomato. It will fade out now. Kindly escort Iris home now, Mr. Nadahodo. I shall meet you there later. Uh, you don't tell me what to do, first of all. Or I swear whatever the hell I want. I'll make her walk home by herself. Please don't. And so our investigation came to an end. Sato san went to file the necessary papers for my defense of Gina the following day. I just realized we haven't had a single case so far where it's two <laughs> trial days and two <laughs> investigation days. Peter looks fucking fair. <laughs> Like, it's actually kind of, that actually kind of freaked me out. I, like, turned over and she was staring at me like that. And I was like, bro, what the fuck? Lay down. Anyway. Genuinely, she looked like a creepy pasta. <laughs> like... And then it hit me. I could no longer suppress the wretched feeling that had been gnawing away at my insides. Tomorrow, Sato saw me leaving. Leaving Britain and making her way back to Japan. And this life. <laughs> Now I finally get some freaking peace and quiet. Yeah, I know. 16th April, 11.13 p.m. Narahoro's Legal Consultancy. Hi. Narahoro-san. It's been very... Oh my god, it's been a very trying day, hasn't it? I, I do hope you're not too freaking exhausted. What about you, Sato-san? Uh, today has been even more trying for you, I'm sure. Mr. Sholmes was shot before our eyes. Gina was arrested. All that back from the news that her father has fallen ill and that she must return to Japan at once. I hope your father recovers soon. Or n not at all. Why would you say that? Thank you for your kind words. Sure. <laughs> sure, I guess. It's the bare minimum. <laughs> I wonder why it is that so many thoughts rage in my head like a storm, and yet I seem unable to find the words to express any of them. I know exactly what you mean. Why'd you pause dramatically? Anyway, I have one final task to complete as your judicial assistant. Once that is done, I shall make preparations for my departure tomorrow. One final task? What? Click on me to find out more. Wait. Doop, boop, boop, I just need to examine everything first. Mmm, fire. What's the matter with me? Why am I examining things <laughs> at a time like this? This is my last chance to talk to Santosama before she leaves. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Why was the oven the thing? Like, why was the little firewood stove the point of interest? Is it still gonna be the same? Yeah. It's just two months since we arrived in London, but we've managed to establish this office. It was finally feeling as though we were settling in. I would be lying if I said I felt no regret. I'm so sorry, Sato-san. You'd better be. It's just so sudden. I really don't know what to think. I've had no time to gather my thoughts. I know we've only been here a short time, but... In my limited experience of the courtroom, I feel I've learned something. It fucking sucks. <laughs> I hate it here. In my short time doing this with you, I realized that you suck as a lawyer and you should give your armband back. I totally should. <laughs> and what would that be? I'm gonna go be a clown. That sounds about right, actually. <laughs> it seems to me there are many facets to people's personalities. And like a jewel, the light plays off them in a complex fucking pattern, eliminating their actions and their motives. We see only a small number of the total facets, and what is illuminating <laughs> part of the whole story. <sighs> What lies in the shadows? What are these- Why do I keep saying this? Facets <laughs> we cannot see look like. 
They Perhaps know. there are some parts we'll never lay eyes on for as long as we live. And for me, it's probably not going to be very long. That's so true. <laughs> Sometimes it feels as though I'm blind to so much. But I keep hoping that one day, it'll all become clear. That all the facets will be illuminated. <laughs> I'll finally understand how everything fits together. Naruto-san. I suppose what matters is nothing. Please shut up. <laughs> is that we keep our eyes open. We keep moving forward. Even if the way sometimes seems dark. And then we move backwards into hell. We back <laughs> so that's the direction into hell. all these cases go. It's amazing to think it's just been... It's been just two months. <laughs> You've grown so much. Never smile at me like that again. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I've what? You've grown. Oh no. It was nothing. Unimportant. Oh, so my growth is unimportant. Okay. You're unimportant. Do you know what time you will leave London in the morning? As soon as fucking possible. Thank God. <laughs> yes, I picked up my ticket earlier. 1 a.m.? Nice. <laughs> I shall be leaving here at 4 a.m. Jesus. Wow. I see. Well, I'll escort you to the station. Jesus, fuck. Absolutely not. No. <laughs> Sorry? I'm sure you realize why I couldn't possibly let you do that. What, I'm gonna cry? Yeah. You have a very important day ahead of you tomorrow. Not really. <laughs> Gina's trial. Not really. Yes, I know, but... Every word you utter will have a potential to determine Gina's fate. The okay. potential. Okay, Gina is guilty. Um. <gasps> you must get as much rest as possible. Even though, like me, I'm sure you will find it hard to sleep. But please, for me, do try. No. And if I don't? Um, you mentioned one final task a moment ago. What did you mean? Oh my, I nearly forgot. Also, you're not going to be able to see uh, Herlock Sholmes wake up either. Thank God. Please, I want you to have this. Oh my God, it's your legendary encyclopedia. Wow! What is that? Some huge bundle of documents. Probably burn it. It's the cheat codes for DGS. Oh my God. It's my notes from the case two months ago. The murder that was committed on the omnibus. Ugh. My guilty case. It seems to me that this case of Mr. Windebank's murder, of which Gina is accused, is very much tied with that of the Omnibus case, in ways that are not yet completely apparent. So I took the liberty of consolidating my writings about the case for you. With everything else she's had to think about, Sato-san still managed to do this. It all neatly laid out for me in her beautiful handwriting. It was my pleasure. But I can't read Japanese. <laughs> I can only hope that it will bolster your case tomorrow for Gina. Thank you so much, Sato-san. I'll do my best to use it wisely, except I probably won't. If you don't, I'll come back. Oh, okay, then I won't. You really are the best judicial assistant in the world. To kill you. Oh, <laughs> even better. Well, that's extremely flattering. Yeah, now where's my uh, flattery comments? You don't get one. But I'm sorry to say, you have no redeeming qualities. <laughs> That I've been a complete failure. <laughs> oh, wow. What? I mean, I was gonna say it. <laughs> Sorry? I didn't quite catch what you said there. Oh, ignore me. I was just mumbling to myself. No, you said it loud and clear. <laughs> that was a full line, Susato. We fucking heard he was written in the dialogue. <laughs> well, it's getting rather late. I think you should go to bed now, Naruto-san. No, I think you should go to bed. Go to bed so I can burn down this room. <laughs> I must finish packing up my things in my room. Bitch, I have to be up way later than you. <laughs> Sato-san, I... I wish you the very best of luck tomorrow. I hope your boat sinks. What the fuck? Good night. Good day. Forever. Uh, damn, that was very expressive. I know. Wait, uh, Die. Fatality. What was that? You tell me. A secret technique, technique of mine? <laughs> technique of mine, the Susato shutdown. <laughs> shutdown? More Can like we... shit up. What? <laughs> shut up. Yeah. Please, I implore you. If we have to voice our goodbyes. I'm fading away. I won't be able to hold back my tears. That's the point. The fans need to see you cry. <laughs> it's good for views. She just vanished. Bro, oh, did she just collapse? Well, I'm currently dying. Thanks, <laughs> I didn't even get to go to bed properly. Sato-san. Get off the floor. At least let me go to my fucking bed. 
And then I found out I broke my neck. See, if fall. Gina's guilty tomorrow, is your fault. Because I didn't <laughs> sleep right. It truly had been a trying day. On our feet for hours, getting Gina to open up to us, and learning the truth about the nemesis of a case. Physically and mentally, I was exhausted. And yet the idea of sleep seemed impossible. But I forced myself to close my eyes, and never woke up again. <laughs> and as a cacophony of scenes of our lives here in London played through my head mind, eventually, my fatigue triumphed. And I fell into a deep sleep. And then I missed the trial. <laughs> and I never showed up. And everyone is mad. And Sholmes died. And Gina was pissed. And Susato <laughs> came back and killed me. And then her boat sank. <laughs> and then her boat sank. 17th April, the small hours. St. Sinus Hospital. Ward 3, wouldn't want to be there. Is it going to be me? Yes, I quite understand. <laughs> it's That's gonna be too me. That was a great weight off my mind. Yeah, I don't know who's talking. Turn the fucking lights. Damn. Rest assured, I shall put everything in place exactly as we have discussed. Thank you so much. It has been an honor and a pleasure to be acquainted with you, Mr. Shirt. Never mind, that's not me talking. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, it is talking a pleasure to, to be myself? acquainted with myself. <laughs> I'm assuming it's Susato talking to him. Oh, is it? On the contrary. Pleasure has been mine. Bitch. <laughs> Get roasted. I bid you farewell. And Godspeed. And may your boat not sink. You're knocking on the Titanic, are you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. My dear madam. I s suddenly woke up. <laughs> I am well. I heard you coming up the stairs, then my fight or flight kicked in. <laughs> To be continued. To we are now going to be progressing in the final hours of this freaking game without Susato here. Oh my god, we're screwed. What is up with that? We're gonna die then. I'm Susato right. is the backbone of this game. <laughs> oh my gosh. Also, then we'll almost be done with DGS. Yeah, it's coming Crazy. to a close. Crazy. Unless this trial portion wraps up, that's it. All right. So next time on the Great Ace Attorney Adventures. We're going to finally kick off this trial, and I guarantee you it's probably going to be very long. Most likely. Because that's how Case 5 always is. So true. So, as always, if you all enjoy and want to keep the series going, show us some love and support, you know what to do. I've been messing up my outro a lot lately. <laughs> be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you all in, in the next, the next episode. episode.